Hi everyone! In this video, I will explain wheel structure, behaviors, and ground properties of HD car controller. For detailed information, please refer to the document in the description of this video or in the description in Asset Store page. First, let me start with wheel structure. HD car controller is designed for four wheel cars and has two axles as front and rear. The script uses the axles to calculate the Ackermann principle to steer the front wheels. This means if you steer to left, left front tire will turn more than the right one and vice versa. For more information, please search Ackermann principle on internet. Under wheel properties section, you will see the wheel colliders. The important thing is to keep the same order for is powered tire meshes and brake meshes elements. Simply, if you order the wheel colliders as front left, front right, rear left and rear right, keep the same order in is powered tire meshes and brake meshes elements. As I mentioned in the introduction video, the 3D models that you will put into these hubs will be automatically aligned. Just be sure that you set the transformation values of 3D models to zero. You don't need to align the hubs according to wheel colliders. The script will carry hubs into their position. Now let us see how they behave on the ground. If you noticed, there is a wheel colliders game object which consists axles and wheel colliders. You can adjust wheel collider properties as you want. But you will find prefabs under prefab folder of HD car controller asset which are already set for different type of cars. You can change the wheel collider values and try them by yourself. The behaviors of wheel on ground defined by the terrain properties section. Skid mark controller is a script to create skids on the ground and should attach to a game object which is aligned to absolute zero position. In this video it is attached to the terrain. And now it is time for the most enjoyable part for me, ground materials property. This section contains ground material properties. You can define as many ground as you want. Ok, how it works? Simple. When you are driving your car, the wheels touch to the ground and can detect the physical material that they are hitting. And so, HD car controller script can decide which property set will be used for tire dust, particle system, color for dust, skid sound file, skid sound level, burnout system and density of dust. If the physical material cannot be found in the ground material sets, the default set will be used. And of course, the physical material of the terrain will affect the car's behaviors so you can simulate different type of grounds such as ice, sand or asphalt. Now let us see an example. Here I set up a scene that consists four different terrain. First one is an asphalt, second is grass, third one is terrain and the last one is the default. I a little bit exaggerated the color of the particle systems to understand the difference easily. Activated burnout only for asphalt and decrease the friction values of grass physical material to a low value. When you run the project, you will see different color dust for each terrain and you will see burnout only on asphalt. And also, while the car is on the grass, its wheel friction will be very low as we decrease the grass physical material's friction values. Enjoy! See you in the next videos.